You finally got that tech gift you've been wanting for months. Now, how do you set it up in the first place? Let's get some tips on how to get the job done. I'm Emily Casulo, and this is Tech Byte. Tech Byte, sponsored by Epico's Comics, Cards, and Games. It's always awesome to open up that gift, and then it's kind of like, now what? <laughs> now how do we get to use it, right? Setting up your holiday tech gifts doesn't have to be overwhelming. It starts with a little common sense. Read the directions. So we want to see what you need. Um, you know, hopefully everyone has the highest speed internet that they can get because a lot of those gifts you do have to connect to Wi-Fi to use them. AT&T's Lori Starcher says you should also be patient, even if it is frustrating at first. Be patient, take your time, really make sure that, you know, that hashtag, password, hashtag, that's always so long and crazy that we take time and put it in the right way. Um, and then, you know, that way you are connected. So that way the, the setup process that those um, tech gifts have, that the process feels like it's flowing the right way since we did the setup uh, in the beginning, um, you know, the, the proper way. If you're still stumped, check out the frequently asked questions on the product's website, or you could even contact customer service. Starcher says if you bought something from AT&T, you can even stop by one of their stores for help if you need it. You know, they are trained to be that patient person and, and <laughs> help you uh, get it connected. But also AT&T does have home tech protection, which is something that you can get on your account where we have, uh, you know, high end tech uh, employees through Asurion that can help set up that new TV, that new, you know, thermostat that you can't bring to the AT&T store, right? But you're still wanting to connect it to the AT&T service that you have at your home. So um, we do have that available as well. Starter says their customers often need help setting up their new devices because they've forgotten their email, Apple ID, or password. There are certain steps that we can take. So, you know, that forgot password link is always our best friend. And we just kind of have to follow the steps and be patient um, and, and go through it to get it reset. But normally that email is the biggest thing that people struggle with. If you don't want to deal with customer service or go to an electronics store for help, see if there are any videos on YouTube on how to set up your device. I'm Emily Casulo, and that's this week's Tech Byte. Tech Byte, sponsored by Epico's Comics, Cards, and Games.